All right, guys, welcome to this month's Profit Academy, which is on platform, which is Hy Michael Hyatt's book. I was part of this launch team. I just thought it was kind of neat. I thought it was a little bit different uh, from what you usually see and thought it was pretty powerful. I'm going to check out a couple of my controls real quick to see if this works out all right. Okay, it stayed on this page. Good. Just wanted to check that out. Hey, Chuck, good morning to you as well. So as we look at platform, this is what I would call a legit launch. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of the stuff that happens in our industry, and by that I mean online business, internet marketing, uh, a lot of the stuff is very difficult to duplicate because these guys have such a massive following. And Michael's actually got a massive following as well, but I love the way he orchestrated this launch. It had a great solid feel to it. There was really no money on the line other than his book sales. It wasn't like anybody was making a commission off of anything. We did all of this absolutely free. And isn't that what we really want? I mean, we love affiliates, certainly. But what if we can get a handful of people to promote us willingly and openly without getting paid at all? And don't we build more community that way? Don't we build more connection? So, you know, pretty cool some of the things that took place with this launch. And I wanted to share you, with you kind of the process of what happened. So not really step by step, but this is going to be assemble your team. And then everything else is going to have a, quote, special title in that each title will start with the word special. So we'll, we'll dive into each element. So it begins by assembling your team. And that's exactly what Michael did. What he did was he put out an announcement on his site that basically asked for people to sign up to be part of this platform launch team. There were 100 spots that were available. That was it. 100 places. And in a minute, you'll see exactly how many people signed up. And this invitation is still up. If you want to go and make a copy of it, at least at the time of this recording, I looked at it this morning. If you're watching this a year from now, all the principles will still be valid. I'm not sure that that link will still be valid. But he says, as we're approaching the launch of my new book, I decided I wanted to try something different. I'm inviting 100 of my readers to join me in a special platform launch team. It's a peer group of people who are willing to roll up their sleeves and help get the word out about the book. You know, so light so easy to believe and want to do, especially if you read his blog post regularly and people read your blog post regularly and part of your communique, then it's a lot easier to get people on board. Now, we may not be able to get 100 on board, but we may, able to get, may be able to get 10 people on board and you could really create some great buzz just with 10 folks. So team, team member benefits. Here's what you'll get, a free electronic review copy of the book in advance. So he's giving us the product. I think that's pretty important, right? So they're getting the product, these hundred people, but they're not getting the physical book. And I actually bought the physical book as well, because that's kind of the way that I'm wired, but a few coffee copy. Number two, I need some coffee, obviously, by saying that word right now. Number two, the ex exclusive opportunity to interact with me around the content of the book using the new Book Shout social reading platform. Just wait till you see this. Now, that sounded pretty exciting, and there were certainly some people making some comments with this app. I've actually got it on my iPad and read part of the book with it, made a couple of notes, but that wasn't super interactive. So this was an element that sounded cool, but really didn't go that well. So expect that as well. There are gonna be some things that you're thinking, man, this is a great idea, that really doesn't translate. Exclusive access to a private Facebook group. That ended up really taking off. A lot of communication in the private Facebook group. A lot of people jazzed. A lot of people challenging each other. And, and people ended up doing guest blog posting together, etc. So it was even a great networking tool. So that ended up being pretty good. Periodic emails from our platform launch team to give you the best ideas to help you get the word out a special 30-minute group phone session with me prior to the launch of the book, the opportunity to network with other platform launch team members, a special thank you with a link to your blog or website on my blog. So we all know that he gets about 30, I mean 30, <laughs> 300 to 500,000 visits a month. So that was a pretty good incentive as well, saying he's going to promote us. Now we knew that it wasn't going to be a solo emailing or anything like that, but it's a great valuable backlink to our site. So I felt like that was pretty important. A 25% off discount on my soon to be released 
Get Published product. This 21 session audio program contains nearly everything I've learned about publishing in my 31 year career. If you're not familiar with Michael Hyatt, I definitely encourage you to go to michaelhyatt.com and just read his content, listen to his podcast. They're really good. But he is the chairman of Thomas Nelson Publishers, one of the largest publishers in the world. And he was really a big part of their acquisitions process for many, many years. So he knows publishing inside and out, and he's a great resource for that. So team, team member requirements. Agree to spread the word about the book in any way you can to your existing platform and beyond during the week of May 21st. Share ideas and brainstorm additional ways we might further expose the message to an even greater audience. All ideas are welcome. And that was it. That was really just the requirement. He didn't force you to do a review or anything like that. He just basically said, I want you to get the word out. But the Facebook private group really took on a life of its own and people really did get the word out. Just about everybody did a blog post about it. I'll show you mine in just a few minutes. Almost everybody did a written or video review. By the time the launch took place, he had 76 reviews, five-star reviews on Amazon. Now, certainly that made some people nervous and even some people mad. You know, there's no way there's this many reviews yet. This is a scam. Well, what, what had happened was that his fans did the reviews. Of course, they were going to be five-star. And the book is actually fantastic. But there was some cat that came in, gave it one star. This is a scam. You know, that was it, which really lit the fire under those who were part of this platform launch team. They started spreading the word to an even greater extent. And other things that they did is some of them made images that they put on Pinterest. So they ended up sharing those. One guy made a trailer video for the book that ended up getting spread around. So there were a lot of resources that Michael didn't even provide that were created by the team members themselves and spread among each other. Now, I thought that was a great and unique aspect of this launch that you just don't see much. Usually it's the launch person provides all of the content and we just try to take it and tweak it or just send it out, just regurgitate it. So when you really make this a team and you're encouraging them in the creative process, they end up catching fire and spreading the word even more effectively. Now, at the end of, of the content that I share, you can you may ask how we can cross this over into an actual affiliate promotion. We can brainstorm some of those things as well. I think this works especially well for a book. Have to make a little bit of changes when there's actual money on the line. But when you're talking about fans, they're generally willing to spread the word no matter what. So here was my acceptance email. Congratulations. You've been chosen one of Michael Hyatt's platform launch team members. We're so glad and thankful you've been, you were part of this team. Uh, before we dive into the nuts and bolts, let me bring you up to speed. Daniel tells us who he is. Then they tell me about the Facebook group. Feel free, free to post a note on Twitter and Facebook. And they give us the hashtag there and also a sample post. I was just selected to be on Michael Hyatt's platform book launch team. And there's the link. You know, just copy and paste that in. Later today or tonight, I'll send you a link with access to an online review copy of platform, as well as a few additional instructions on what to do next. Until then, welcome to the team. And this is a great welcome email. So I think welcoming people to the team is very important. Helps them feel apart. Uh, the waiting period was not too long on this. I just waited a couple of days to find out if I was selected or not. So that was pretty cool. Now, you may be wondering, were all of these just drawn or was some selected? Some were actually hand selected based on them already being a member of Michael's team, such as moderators for his blog. Others were selected if they had a pretty good distribution list or method, which I did. I was probably selected because of that, but I'd also met Michael in person at SCORE conference just a few weeks ago. That could have played a part as well. And then I would think about half of them were just drawn randomly. Now you might be thinking, how can you select your team? I think one of the best ways to select your team is to look through your blog comments, find out who is the most active, look through your buyers, who buys the most. Those are people who really love what you're doing and are more willing to spread the word without reward. 
So here is a, a, the announcement on the blog itself. Thank you for your interest in the platform launch team, but the application process is now over. We picked 100 people out of the 764 who applied. You can still help, though. Here are a few ways. During the week of May 22nd, order a copy or copies of platform. One person ordered 500 copies. 500. Gave it out to his team. I will give you eight free bonuses worth $375.98 for doing so. You can sign up here to be notified. Encourage others on Twitter, Facebook, take advantage of the launch week offer. Read the book, post a review on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, etc. Build your platform. That last one is the most important to me. You have something to say or sell. And my desire is that you will use what I have shared to get your message noticed. And the bonuses were fantastic. We'll look at a, at least one of those here in just a second. So we built this special community. So this is the first of the special sections, a special community. And it, we really did feel like a really close knit group. Now, I'm a little more reluctant than other people to get in and become a rah-rah person and there were a lot of things that were said in the, the Facebook stream that to me were just over the top as far as just gushing with this is the best thing that's ever happened in my life. I've been reborn, you know, things along those lines. So you're going to attract some of those type of people. And then you're going to also get people like me. that are probably a little bit more middle of the road, maybe a little bit more logical when it comes to a launch participation that we do it simply because we believe in it. It's a good resource, not necessarily because we're on an emotional high. And then you're going to get those who really don't participate at all. That's, you know, if you're doing a smaller community like 10, you're really going to have to hand select those and make sure they stay on fire. But with 100, there were probably about 30 to 40 that really commented a ton and about 60 that were a lot more quiet. So here is the Facebook platform here you see the platform launch team daniel decker says sent you all an email but here's a link that contains the word doc with a promotional copy and twitter and facebook post ideas and so here we were interacting and some of these posts that were made might have 40 comments on it you know a, a dozen likes and we got to make the the post as well it wasn't simply daniel or michael making all the posts you know we made the post also so it was a lot of fun to interact and build a great community to be a part of. Uh, Michael would come in and post something maybe that we would repost. Publishers Weekly, the major trade journal in the book publishing world, just posted their interview for me. Feel free to share. And then he also came back and said, hey, would you guys put a comment on here as well? Because I noticed that people really weren't commenting much. I went and made a comment. And there was a couple of other commenters at that time. And then he came back and said, hey, go and make a comment. And boom, people did. So write this down. You've got to tell people what to do. They're not just going to share. They're not just going to make a comment. You've got to tell them to do that in order for word to really get out. Even somebody like Michael who's got a great following, a lot of people hyped up, had to tell people what to do because they weren't doing it. So he made this post but came back with another post to activate everyone. We also received special assignments. So that was kind of cool as well. Hey, platform launch team, I hope this email finds you well. Below are a few updates and what's next notes for you. I'll try to be as brief as possible. But as you can see, it's not just super brief. So platform launch team listing on Michael's Hyatt site. So you go there and you actually get to see the whole list of everybody who participated. I think it was a little bit more than 100 names because of some of, of his crew that he had let in. But you get a list of everybody's name at that link. Then a review page, michaelhyatt.com slash platform slash reviews. He's at a review page. That way, those of us who published a review, we would let them know and he would put it on this special page. And I'll show you mine in just a second. Media and promotional resources. We're almost done getting the page set up for you that will include banner ads. Banner, uh, badge images, sample, etc. Now, this is kind of interesting. Most of the time when there's a launch, all of the creatives, all the materials you're going to pass on are already done. Really, none of these were complete yet. And so we actually looked forward to receiving those so that we could go out and share those. I thought that was a, a nice little element, but I don't think that, that was on purpose. I think they actually planned to have it done ahead of time, and I think they just didn't get it done ahead of time. From the psychological aspect, I think it actually worked to their advantage. And I will give you a copy of all these screens. So 
If you didn't get that link written down, you can come back to that later. Next steps, if you haven't finished reading the book, do that. If you have read it, leave a review. Number three, if you planned, plan to share a review, plus encouragement to others to buy something next week. Now, they tried to limit everybody to that May 21st, May 22nd, but a lot of people did it the week before. My review was actually published, I think, on May the 16th. Number four, plan to tweet, post notes to your Facebook. Number five, you have a network of influencers. If anyone who would help us spread the word, feel free to reach out, ask them to join in. Number six, share any ideas that you have. They constantly ask about sharing ideas. They weren't trying to provide all the information or be dictatorial about it. You know, they wanted openness. And I think that helped to a large degree because on Facebook, everybody started sharing. Hey, here's my review. Hey, here's my video. Hey, here's what I did. Now, if you posted that you reviewed, often Michael would come and post on Facebook. Like I didn't go to Facebook and say, here's my review. But I emailed in my video and Michael said, hey, Paul Evans did a great video for you to look at and consider doing something similar right here. Go watch it. So that went out to everybody on the Facebook and that on the Facebook. That's Southern and that's like at the Walmarts. And so people actually came to my site. My list ended up gaining about 25 of those hundred simply because I posted that video. So that was kind of a, a neat little bonus. Michael would then post some special assignments. Team, I need your help. I'm dedicating the next two episodes of my podcast to platform. I really want this to be driven by questions from my listeners and readers. Would you be willing to call my voicemail, leave a question about the why or how of building your own platform? This will give me real world answers, questions to answer. However, it benefits you in several ways too. It gives you a chance to ask a real question, and have me answer on air. It'll give you and your blog a website I mention on air. I have roughly 24,000 downloads per episode. It will get you and your blog and website mentioned on my blog in the podcast notes. This is big exposure for you. I can't guarantee that I will answer every question online, but keep your question clear and brief and you have a good chance. P.S. I prefer that you use the widget on the page to leave your voicemail, but there's also a standard phone call in number if you prefer. Just click the link below. So pretty cool. That's a great invitation. It's a great way to motivate us. So when we went to his page, it said, record a voice message here. Here are the guidelines. And I actually started this for my public speaking podcast and just copied these exact notes. State your first last name, where you're calling from. Mention your website, blog address. Keep your question brief. If it's longer than 30 seconds, I will not be able to use it on the show. That's very specific. Please ask only one question per voicemail, but leave as many voicemails as you like. And he is using SpeakPipe, and I use this as well, my public speaking site. It's a great resource. Uh, this popped up on his site. I actually sent them to SpeakPipe to my own uh, URL. I think it's speakpipe.com slash Paul Evans. And they click a button and start recording. They record right there. And the cool thing is you get to download those recordings. And I did a podcast this morning. Now, I loaded up at PlatinumPresenter.com. If you want to go over there and check that out, PlatinumPresenter.com. And toward the end of the show, I've actually got those recordings integrated within the podcast itself. So it's pretty cool. You get to hear people's actual voices and their website. So pretty neat. So if your team is able to get part of this exposure, that's pretty cool as well. And so this only went out to our team. So all of his list did not get the opportunity to ask these questions. Just we did. And that gave us some extra exposure. Now, special promotion. And this is, is part of that as well. I mentioned where it showed that everybody was part of the launch team at that address, that URL. So here's the beginning of the list. So Brian Alexander, Pat Alexander, etc. If you hover over their name, you'll actually have their URL. And then there's their Twitter. And then there's their Facebook. So it's great for us to contact each other, and it's also great backlinks and connectivity from his site. Some people actually did not have a website or did not have a, a Twitter or Facebook account. Obviously, that first, however, number there, seven, did. Platform reviews. There's Kathy, Brian, Kerry, and there's mine. Review Michael Hyatt's platform. Paul Evans' blog, May 16th, 2012. Now look at this. Kerry Dexter, five books for the perceptive traveler. 
USA Today travel section. That's pretty hot, isn't it? So here I am with my blog compared to the US Today travel section. So it gave equal billing regardless. So I thought that was pretty cool. And you got Mark down there, millionaire missionary. So we had published ours on May 16th, there's May 17th, et cetera. So pretty cool to be able to get that special promotion. Now at my paulbevans.com site, here was Michael Hyatt's platform and there was my video review that I did that he ended up, as I mentioned, posting on Facebook. As part of the promotion, I thought this was just neat. I didn't really have a place to put it in the slide, so I thought I'd just put it right here. Over in his sidebar, his sidebar widget, said the platform bonus offer launches in, and there was an actual countdown clock there. I thought that was really neat. I thought it kept everybody who came to his, his blog activated and waiting for the launch. So that was a little bit of a special promotion, not for the platform launch team, but in general. Now, if he had told the launch team about this ahead of time, hey, I'm going to create this really swanky looking countdown clock with my book. It's going to appear over on the right sidebar, but I want you to guys to go and look at it first and give me your feedback. That would have been one more way to engage us and make us part of the process. Not that it would have needed any changes, but once again, we would have gotten to see something cool and exclusive. Something else that we got to do that I thought was pretty cool, as he speaks, obviously, on platform, he gave us a pre-look of all of his keynote slides and asked for feedback and how to make those better. So that was kind of neat. Always engage and ask for feedback from your team. Now, special reports and tools that we received. Media assets. This was actually a web page that we went to. Here's a promotional copy in a Word document. We just downloaded it. We could right click any of the images that he gave us to look at. And this is kind of standard. If you've ever done a launch before, you've probably done something like this. But I like that we actually got the Word document. We didn't simply copy it off the web page. Everything was right there. Now, on the web page itself, it did have the copy, but I liked having it as a separate document as well. So here are some important points that he had on this page. Here are the days to promote. Here are what the, the worth of the additional resources are. And this was true because all of this stuff is, is stuff that he sells, and that's the actual price. He didn't do value-based pricing. You know, that this is a kajillion dollars worth of value. Instead, he gave the actual value. Whenever promoting the book, please link to, to access the book images, go to, and, and that may still be up if you want to go and check that out. When you post a review or promotion, please let us know, and we'll add you to this page. Questions or additional needs, contact, and that was Daniel's email. I wasn't sure he would want me handing that out, so I didn't put it there. Now, it's probably on that media page. I just ask that you don't contact him. They don't mind me doing this. They know that uh, plenty of us have done some insider look at the platform. Within the document that you were downloading, the long form, short copy, Twitter, Facebook, tw testimonials. Ideally, anything that you post a platform would come via your own words and your own endorsement slash testimony for the book. The items below are simply to help spur ideas. So that was pretty good. Here's some short form copy. You can look at that. You know, that was really good to be able to use on Facebook. Twitter and Facebook post, very brief. Again, always the hashtag available. And then there were some testimonials that you could use. John C. Maxwell, Dave Ramsey, Chris Brogan, you know, pretty hot names, right? And then he, of course, had a spot, special launch page. But he integrated this into his blog. He didn't send you just to a page that was kind of separate and apart from everything else. It was very well integrated in everything that he does. So it's there. It is Michael Hyatt. Uh, it's at michaelhyatt.com slash platform. Buy no, my new book and get seven free bonuses. Obviously, these are not available anymore since the launch is over. But he had a great video there. High quality. My new, new book is finally out. You can get seven free bonuses by ordering the book this week by midnight, May 25th. Dear Platform Builder, great ideas are no longer enough. If I can build a platform, you can too. And here's his current numbers. 
but he also has on his site, his original numbers, his first year, he had 100 visitors a month. His second year, about 200. His third, uh, I think about 400. And then I think the next year, it's very similar. And in like his fifth year was when it really started to take off. So this isn't any kind of magic bean story. It took him a while. He said, listen, in the past eight years, I experienced every setback, mistake, and headache while building my own platform. But I managed to generate, and there's some of the numbers. So pretty cool. Bonus number one, $179 value. That's exactly what he sells it for. Platform get noticed in noisy work. Uh, noisy work, noisy world, a jumpstart video series. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let me go back to that. And he had his other bonuses on there as well. Things like writing a book proposal for fitness, uh, fiction, writing a book, a business proposal, book proposal, excuse me, tongue tied, book proposal for nonfiction. So a lot of his best selling resources were part of this launch. So if you bought his book for you know, 15 bucks, hard copy, 10 bucks or less digital, you got all of these great, really great bonuses. So that was pretty hot. And I actually emailed this out to the entire list. Maybe you ended up getting your copy, but you know, this is one of the things that I launched. I mentioned it during this week, during this promo week. All right, special thanks and updates. So Michael Hyatt sends this out to the Facebook list. On the eve of the launch, I wanted to drop you guys a quick note and say thank you to every one of you for what you've done. To make this project a success, I'm very grateful to each of you. I'm hoping to see the book hit the bestseller list, but honestly, at this point, I have no idea that will happen. After 30 years of book publishing experience, I know better than to count my chickens before they hatch. I do know we have all worked hard, especially I want to thank my team, and he lists them. Special thanks to Gail Hyatt, his wife, who's managing our daughter's wedding on top of all this. That launch happens next Saturday. No matter what happens with the book, I'm satisfied and grateful. The whole thing is in God's hands, and I'm content to rest in that. And as Gail just reminded me, I'm going to have fun and enjoy this present moment. I am blessed. Thank you again. I couldn't have done this without you. And I mean, there was massive amount of response after that. You know, very heartfelt, very authentic. I love that. I think that when we approach our people that way, we're going to get a great response as well. So he says, I was hoping that the book would break into Amazon Top 1000, but check this out. It's at 160. So he's super excited about that. So we're getting these special behind the scene announcements that nobody else is getting. My expectations have been exceeded just wow. Now he's up to number 16 in books. Hope I'm not wearing you out. Now number four in Amazon. Very grateful for your continued support. So he actually goes on to become a bestseller in the business section. And business, books, and investing, you see it there, e-commerce, personal finance, web marketing. But he also becomes a, a New York Times bestseller. That was actually just released. He's an actual New York Times bestseller because of this book. I think he, he ended up number four overall, which is huge. You know, it was great support. I think he had about 7,000 sales, 7,000 book sales during this launch. He also, you know, gave special elements that were provided as well. Five steps to building your platform, the infographic that you see there to the right. And then he said, we also need to host a, a platform launch team group call Wednesday, May 30th at 8 p.m. And we got to ask our questions and be part of that as well. So that was pretty cool. And then he ended up doing a mass public teleseminar, which is free. So, you know, pretty cool overall process to really help people become part. Here was a replay that we got. So pretty snazzy replay there. I think they use teleseminar or something very similar. And then he says, be sure to clear your calendar for the first month after your book launches. Once the book is published, the real work begins. This week, for example, I'll do 22 media interviews and give three speeches. You have a very short window in which to promote your book. The media and retailers soon move on to the next new thing. I thought this was great insider information because often we do a launch and then we just relax. We rest. But because this is a legit launch, this is something that is mainstream, not for a narrow sector, 
He was out there doing media interviews, giving speeches, etc. I believe that all of that is very possible for all of us. If we're doing press releases for our book, for our product content, we can get people to interview us about what we're doing. Just since I've reactivated in the last 15 days, maybe 30 days, uh, my Platinum Presenter uh, public speaking access materials, uh, I've received several interview requests that wouldn't have been there if I'd not been out there promoting that a little bit and talking about it a little bit. And, and that's not even from a product launch, even though I did do the perfect presentation formula over there. Uh, it's really just from people coming to the site, listening to the podcast. I released the third podcast today, but I've already had a good listenership just to the podcast on that, and it's bringing invitation. So that, that's another great resource for building your platform, building your team, is make sure that you're, you're uh, podcasting. All right, so that's it for the overall notes of what I experienced. Uh, you guys have some questions. Go ahead and ask those right now, and we'll see if we can't you know, nail some of this down even farther. What I didn't want to do is do a step-by-step -step type of deal because then we kind of get into this rope mentality of, oh, I do that. Oh, I do that. What I'd encourage you to do is to rewatch this or any notes that you've made and think about this would be fun for me to do. Oh, I'd like to engage my audience in that regard. And that'll help you out a little bit. So any questions that you have, go ahead and type those into the box right now. You may not have any, but if you do, this is your chance if you're here live and there's a few of us here live this morning, uh, be sure to ask those right now. I believe that this is the type of launch that most of us can handle real well. I think it doesn't have the pressure a lot of times of the affiliate based launches because we end up kind of putting too much pressure on ourselves just to make money. I think this is a great way to build your list. When you do a launch for a book, it really ends up being a way for your fans to send people to you. All right, so Lori says, great idea for user engagement. Any thoughts on taking this mobile? And when you're saying mobile, Lori, are you talking about just phone or are you talking about iPad as well? both any okay yeah I, th I think that a lot of people actually took this mobile as far as doing a lot of sharing on Facebook and Twitter just from their phone so that's one component uh, you got to be a little bit careful video wise when you're going mobile it's it doesn't always cross platforms uh, but certainly you could end up putting a text component in here just create one new phone number just for your people and going mobile with that and doing a lot of internal texting I mean imagine that you're out and about and you text your folks, hey, I just saw this in a window and you show an image of something that could be used for your launch, a great image to pass along to your people. And your people could do that as well. Uh, you could also do some FaceTime meetings. That would be a little bit different. And you would also be able to let people just be out there taking pictures, uh, paying attention, you have, you know, front level, front of mind of your launch and being out there texting and tweeting just one another on some of those things. All right. Uh, Jocelyn says, yes, the, you're right. This is doable. Great ideas. Thanks. This is from Lori. I know Michael is a huge technology fan and promoter. This could really help it go viral. Yeah, I think that that, you know, he really went viral to a good extent just using some of his social media stuff and certainly his podcast. He really didn't do anything on the mobile front and certainly we're moving more and more toward that platform. And that's going to be another element is I think we've got to be thinking about is this able to show up for everyone? Is everybody able to see my blog? Is everybody able to participate? Is, able, is everybody able to have a component that allows them to share immediately? Outside of your team, can people view your materials on their phone and are the share buttons easy to access and easy to use? All right, any other questions? going once, going twice, and you can always ask questions again at the monthly call as it relates to this. Just make sure that you preface it and say, hey, in regards to the 
Profit Academy Platform Edition? Would you uh, answer a question about X, Y, and Z? And certainly I'll be willing to do that. Well, that's it, guys. Appreciate you taking the time. You know, we're not going to hang out all day if y'all don't want to. You know, I'm not going to create a you know, two-hour presentation when it doesn't need to be that. Hopefully, everything was pretty clear and self-explanatory. Go visit the links that were in this uh, presentation. And also, right under this replay video, there will be uh, these screens as well, so you can go back through those. Uh, you guys are welcome. Appreciate all the thanks there in the chat area, the Q&A area. Hope you guys have an incredible day. Be blessed. Continue growing your platform. And also, if you're interested in growing your platform to a larger extent right now over at PlatinumPresenter.com, I just started a series called The Platinum Platform. And even if you're not a speaker, I think it's going to help you grow your business. So go and check that out as well. All right, guys, be blessed. Have an awesome day. As always, success is not an accident.